Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are working with Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 and ever find yourself unable to boot the system due to misconfiguration or system failures, then rescue mode can be a lifesaver. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process to boot RHL 9 into rescue mode and recover your system. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the steps, let's first understand what rescue mode is. Rescue mode is a minimal environment that allows you to troubleshoot and repair your RHL Linux when normal boot fails. It provides access to the system files without fully loading the OS. Now let's boot the RHL 9 into rescue mode. Follow these steps carefully. If your system is running, then you need to restart it using the reboot. If it is powered off, then turn it on. In my case, system is already up and running. Let me reboot using the reboot command. When the system boots up, press escape and shift arrow key repeatedly to bring up the grub menu. Now select the first entry and press E. Look for the line that starts with Linux. Go to the end of that line and add the parameter rd.break. This parameter interrupts the boot process before mounting the root file system. Now press Ctrl X to boot the system into rescue mode. Rescue mode is also known as emergency mode. Once you get the emergency cell, we need to remount the root file system with right permissions. First type Ctrl X. It will take a couple of seconds to boot into the emergency cell. All right, we are into the emergency cell. Now mount the root file system with read write permissions. For that, run the command mount hyphen o remount comma rw space slash sysroot. Hit enter. Now change the root directory using chroot. Hit enter. From here, you can reset the password, fix the system configuration, or repair the boot issues. For example, let's say I want to reset the root password. Run the command passwd root. Enter the new password that you would like to set. If SLinux was enabled on your RHL9 system, then you need to create a file auto relabel. Run the command touch slash dot auto relabel. Hit enter. If you would like to troubleshoot etc FSTEP file issues, then you can use the vi editor like vi space less etc less fstep. Go to the insert mode and make the required changes to troubleshoot the issue. Once you are done with the changes, save and close the file. Once you are done with all the troubleshooting steps, you can reboot your system using the command reboot space hyphen f and hit enter. Now try to log in with the same root password that you have set it in the rescue mode. Great. I am able to log in with the same password that I have set it in my rescue mode. That's it folks. Now you know how to boot RHL9 into rescue mode and troubleshoot system issues. If this tutorial helped you, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel for more learning tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to help. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.